I'm standing in a hotel room. We've never begun a film in a hotel room, which is a bit odd, I know. But this is a very strange day for me. I'm not driving a car today, I'm riding a motorcycle. As some of you might know, I took my bike test in the summer, so that's four or five months ago, and one thing I vowed I'd never do was try and become a bike journalist. I'm not doing that, but Ducati's launching something called the Scrambler, okay? You must have heard of it. It's super cool. It's like a new sub-brand for them, and they've invited me on the launch. I'm here as a lifestyle journalist, which is really insulting, actually. It makes me out to be a bit of a cock. I'm not that much of a cock. But I'm here, standing in my hotel room, and look at this. You see, I've got, I've got my... Kevlar reinforced jeans, I've got a jacket and some gloves and I've got my boots and I'm about to put them on and wobble out but I'm actually quite self-conscious and nervous because I think I'm going to look a bit of a knob. So let's do a film about the Ducati Scrambler. Where's it gone? There we go. That's me. We're going to do it in a minute. I'm going to imagine myself riding into the Palm Spring sunshine with Bruce Brown's syrupy narrative behind me saying, and there it goes, Chris Harris on the new Ducati Scrambler, having won some enduro race with no talent whatsoever because he's useless. Do I look like someone who rides a motorcycle or someone that actually drives cars that's masquerading as someone that rides a motorcycle? I think probably the latter. What's the photo? Have you seen this? Right, basically you've got to have a mug shot taken. This is obviously anyone that's a bike journalist knows this goes on, I don't at all. You've got to have that taken with the two lids that you're going to wear so they know who you are if you behave badly. I'd like to say I've never been arrested, but that would be a lie. <clears throat> so what is the Scrambler? Well, you can view it one of two ways. It's either a collection of existing Ducati parts, 803cc air-cooled twin with 75 horsepower, a steel frame, and the ability to rattle down a dusty track, or it's just a bike to look very cool on. Ducati claims it does have some light off-road ability, and there are four different versions that cover the ground between outright retro and cafe racer. The execution is pretty outstanding, and if, like me, you're not a hardcore biker, but a middle-aged saddo, then the thing looks just perfect for wobbling along on your favourite B-road. It's hard to think of a car equivalent to the Scrambler. It's so shamelessly designed to make you feel good about yourself. Its dynamics are no better or worse than they need to be to fulfil that role, and any time spent on one reminds you that simple is so often the best way. Like. I'm completely unqualified to tell you what this bike is like. Um, it is, I like the riding position, nice and high, look at that, nice and high. And um, it's got no bearing, so that's the, the best speed limiting device known to mankind. Um, I like the fact it's yellow, I like this one that's got the sort of truncated bottom. I don't even know which version this is, I ought to do some research into that. It's not the classic one. Um, feels very similar actually the dna feels quite similar to my monster but i even prefer the riding position because the handlebars are further up for me so i like that um it's comfortable it's got a lot more suspension travel than a normal bike but not quite so much as a as a sort of off-road enduro bike now one thing i promised i wouldn't do when i got a bike license was to kind of become a a bike journalist and i'm not i really am not this is just a one-off for me a lifestyle product and do you know what I probably perfectly reflect the demographic of the slightly sad middle class loser who fancies expressing himself on two wheels that will buy one of these things and there's nothing to be ashamed of in that at all nothing to be ashamed of whatsoever how do I feel about myself here how do I feel do I feel ridiculous do I feel, I feel quite relaxed actually it's a cool bike people look at it the right way this clutch cable, the cable clutch thing is interesting because it's, uh, I now understand why it was, it, it was done as sort of a, as a, a reduction for maintenance, you know, so if you're in a third world country or Ducati can still be serviced, it doesn't anything like as thick as the clutch on my monster. 
But for wobbling around town on, I really like it. It's comfortable, the riding position is good. As I said, the gear lever is not quite what I'm instinctively going for it. Um, and it, the gearbox doesn't quite have that sort of snick snack quality that I might have expected because the throw is a bit longer on the pedal. But the throttle's good, low speed's fine, it's not too snatchy.